to give an example um, because the programming we have in our mind uh, dictated by the body conscious world and upbringing we've had creates like a psychological structure inside and it can be a barrier and I just want to give a, an example of this um, it was in, in 1954 Roger Bannister when he uh, ran the four minute mile so he ran a mile in three minutes nine fifty nine point four seconds <laughs> so he only just broke it but um but he, nevertheless they say he as if opened a track for others to do the same because subsequently many many others also managed and and ran faster but before that they didn't realize human beings could do that mm. and I think as an example and there are probably many actually you might also have some stories examples historic all sorts of things like climbing Everest or yeah exactly all these types of things all these things that yeah we achieve and then it it sort of shows it gives a signal to others and um so what is possible um in innovation and <clears throat> physical achievement see that we have to see beyond the conventional thinking and uh, the qualities that are involved with that um being seen out of the box but um because it's uncharted territory and so Baba's coming now to help us to overcome all the psychological barriers of what it is to be a human and you know the programming of um that's given to us by models of science that you know the vices are innate ingrained that we shouldn't even look to go for 100 percent happiness that sorrow is natural normal and needed these are all programming structures which we have the information uh from baba but we also need to experience it but it's it's wonderfully different isn't it from all the programming we've had but um Bubba's uh, helping us to break down those barriers and uh so I was playing uh, with this in terms of uh, image because I find it easier uh, to work in terms of images and so I thought I would share <laughs> that's why I turned this round and hopefully you can see um to see it phys visibly and so we're going to draw like the box a different <laughs> box <laughs> not the box it's like our reference points in the black box in our normal life it's like the past is our reference point who we think we are the stories of the past we carry it with us and we give a greater narrative and then we've got an idea of the future where we think we might be going and maybe there's a few different ideas about what the future is and then we have this reference point for who we think we are and there's like many of them we might might say it's our role or there's several we might say the big ones around family and around the job and etc all these and then we've got the reference points of other people's opinion of us and then you've got the reference point of society, the expectations which we are trying to fulfill, and um, maybe our ideals. And all of this is like a programming inside. And so we've got the story of our around, you know, our relationships, families, and that has a past, and these have a past, and that has a connection with society, and that's got an idea about the future and all of these also have connection between them <laughs> society family future this whole thing and that's fine it, it's just the way we're wired in a way and then Baba comes <laughs> and he creates um he wants us to start clean, doesn't he? How many times he says, forget your body, bodily religions, and remember me alone. This is mammat of who we think we are, the palmat, the story, the future. It's all 100% new, isn't it? So 
So if we say this, first of all, in the middle, we have the self, and that itself is um, 100% separate. We never thought that, I never thought the invisible, non physical, and corporeal and immortal. And then he gives a reference point for who he is. And he tells us we have a home that is a um, different dimension. And he gives us the reference point for a heaven. So then he says, you know, keep um, the home in one eye and the heaven in the other eye. So it's like reference points. Stay there. Why not? It's like the original and eternal say so keep your <clears throat> see these are these are points and then you've got the um we come down we have heaven and then he gives reference point for the worthy of worship form constantly drawing us uh, our attention to how in devotion it's um connected to the support of the highest consciousness and projected onto the deities but they nevertheless are seeing deities and Maggots, uh, we ourselves also took support from the image, so that reference point of perfection, and also projected. But so this is these are like points of knowledge. But the yoga is when we we program our it's, it's like a reprogramming the experience. So you sit and let that. As Sally is taking those breaks today, it's like a chance to feel every aspect and in a way it feels like that's the yoga the points get connected so that reprogramming uh, starts and then the, all the facets of knowledge um but there's four subjects say so you've got the um gyan the yoga the dana and the the seva these are all working together and it's a checking mechanism the system, they will work together. And then all the reference points of the virtues and the powers and um, the vision of others, the Srimad, it's like all working, but it's all connected to the essence. And so we... Supporting. Reinforcing, supporting. Nothing, nothing detracting. Yeah. They, they, they add the other model. Yeah, they all add together. So um, why I felt this was helpful is because, in a sense, we can hear things in the old programming paradigm. So we find out that we're a soul. And maybe I'll use a different color. We, say we, can, we kind of find out we're a soul, so it's a different sense of self. We find out that there is a parent, supreme parent, we understand there's a new future. They understand a different idea of the past. And they they get connected. But there are also all these other factors. And that gets mixed with the role of the, you know, the, the job or whatever. And that also mammat and srimat and parmat. In this programming, that it's all going on. And it's contrast is then not always held like for example seeing drama with the celebration energy or do we see drama as a way to dismiss things because in this first mm -hmm. <clears throat> there is everything mixed <laughs> and and wiring together as if but we start like that because this is quite radical what bob is asking us to do and um, I really like in this context um, <laughs> lines disappearing I really like the fact that um, Bob is making us uh, do a jump and I feel this word is helpful because each time we can start with Gyan to always um, ask who's using the mind and 
start clean as if start fresh that's why i feel this objective language is so powerful because i think when we when we do that every time baba says it's one second away we are reviving this programming and it all comes alive when it's mixed there isn't that power although there is some it's a dilution and when when we are practicing and wanting that uh, fresh start clean slate no mixing the whole thing comes alive and of course it's it's in a sense there is a blueprint but we're activating it that's why i really appreciate this value of quality and um circuitry which has its own uh, harmony within it and i think the dana uh, understanding in this is like testing the system the drama continues things are coming to us but we get to check how solid the programming is and what is uh, or where is it that needs um, the light shone on what is true what is stable and service is like the mirror of that because we all have it. We, we all have that blueprint, original and eternal. Um, and yeah, on a practical level, um, each and every relationship needs that attention, isn't it? In the mind, the reprogramming, seeing it clean, the fresh start, the soul, they are not um, shaded or colored by the past experiences, because then that's also coming from the old. But see the them as the invisible traveler, their relationship with God. And it's so nice to, to know we have the method to redraw, remap, reprogram, come clean uh, to, to do that. With language teaching, um, you notice, and it's very same with a lot of learning, but we say with languages, what can happen is we create a, a sanskara of like translation. And I think uh, for those of you who have um, more than one language, you must have had the experience where you have to go from bringing a new word in and keep translating it back to what it means in your native tongue to when you have to go into the new language and connect the dots with the with the language itself, the new language. Otherwise, we get this kind of going back and forth, trying to retranslate. What does that mean in the old language? What does that mean in the old language? It's very tiring. And to learn um, from the native speaker, obviously, we need the you need to be uh, things need to be um, graded so we're not out of our depth. But starting with something simple, like you and Bob starts us with something simple. Um, but learning from the native, the fluency, we are getting the best chance. So Baba is the one to refer to. We do anything like any learning, any connection made here. It's like a track, which is useful not just for you and the, for the soul, but for others. And just like that psychological barrier of the one that broke the four minute mile, it sends a signal to others. Here we know everything is subtle. So don't necessarily see it in the newspapers but and also it means you can come back to it if you are driving at age 18 and they didn't need it for 20 years but nevertheless when I got into a car um it was there you know we need a little it's rusty for sure but the track if you learn swimming you know you will you'll be able to revive that so it's very encouraging but I think the caution is just to um, keep it very clear and independent. So and it's a race, a coding competition race. <laughs> I'm chanting. It is clear when looking at these uh, images that when Baba says, you agree, you accept, you recognize, and then you say, but. And it feels like as long as there is the but, it's a mixture. The transformation, the jump, the achievements, all of that can happen as long as there is no mixture. 
And looking at these images, it's very clear that that's the main problem. Don't mix. And there is a lot of power in this. So something to share. Thank you. Hello, Nanraka. Hello, Om Shanti. So yeah, really good illustrations. And um, I like it when you say we always have to start with the best and start with a clean slate um, at every moment. And like in every movie, um, Baba, you know, talks about Maya as well and knowing that Maya is all around. And there are even things like, how would I say, as in being self-reliant and relied, reliant on Baba on how he sees me with the highest vision, you know, like the flawless diamond, because we will make mistakes because Maya is meant to come, you know, for us to take that jump and to pass it. But the whole world has this blame culture. It's very ingrained in society, pointing fingers and criticizing. And of course, to the point where it becomes a self-criticism, where we start pointing fingers at ourselves. So this, you know, or judging ourselves or even judging others for judging me, <laughs> it goes on. Um, so that that starting clean all the more, you know, at all times and reminding myself I am not how other people are seeing me. And um, the other thing with, you know, with Baba as well, it's, you know, only a pure person can point finger in the sense. So when Baba says, you know, you're doing this mistake or that, it's it's very acceptable because he's pure and he has all the right to say it. And we can see what the problem is. But I feel like when other people, you know, Brahmin or not, and it, I think it's the way and the tone it's being said, where you feel judged and you feel, you know, instead of uplifting you, you feel like you're being pointed the dirt. So, and it's about how we say it. And it's a lesson for me as well. You know, we can spot the mistake, but uh, am I compassionate? Do I have to point it out? Or how are my vibration around? And hence why this, this seeing them as a flaw, flawless diamond rather than, always correcting um, and really kind of clicks with me. Thank you. Thank you so much for the sharing. Really enjoyed it. And uh, what's seen here is uh, ties in with the blessing. You see on the right, on the left-hand side, can't see any focus. And on the right hand side, there's a clear focus. And it looks like from here, like a flawless diamond, clean. And thing is also to see others in the same way. Thank you, Oshanti. It's amazing how there's so many ones that Baba highlights. One, one parent, one guru, one drama, one home. You come once, he comes once. It's like with the Ravan and the ego and identities, everything is so many, many ideas. It's like one dharm, one heaven, one aim. Uh, very like focused. And, uh, and then that helps you see in contrast when we have the the many it really stands out 